Coming up next, the Nets taking on the Celtics. For the Brooklyn Nets, every game presents another chance to improve and refine their brand of basketball. They want to win each half, each quarter, each minute, each possession. Celtics, Nets, tip-off coming right up. Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And a look at the injury situation. Two players injured. One of their stars is out. Something they're going to have to overcome tonight. Two injuries, one of their stars out, but it's all about how you respond to the adversity. So the next starting five, Duran is out there with Bruce Brown. Then it's Harden. Then there's Harris. And it's Griffin in at the five spot. And for Boston, outside the wings are Brown and Tatum. Horford is out there with Rob Williams. And it's Smart in at the one. And both coaches tonight have plenty of options on their bench. Depth, Chris, a big part of what these teams do well. Oh, yeah. During a regular season, uh, Kevin, uh, depth means so much. Uh, usually shorten the rotation to come playoffs, but most teams in the league, they have a fantastic seventh and eighth option. Harden against Smart. Brown outside. No good there. And the Celtics going the other way now. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Good. And Smart gets the assist. Tatum's got the first bucket of the game with the three for the Celtics. Harden outside. Tatum against Durant. that one. It's hard enough stopping Durant when he's on his own, but when he's running the pick and roll like he is, it's pretty much impossible. Smart with the ball, and it's Harden picking him up. Here's Tatum. Rebounded by the Nets. Oh, I thought that one was going to go down. Mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the D playing soft like that. Outside, Smart. Back to Tatum. Over Harden. And the basket by Tatum. Tatum's got five now. Yeah, and it's clear that Tatum loves the mid-range. I mean, he excels from there, recognizing when to shoot from there. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. And you think back to that 2017 draft. Scouts trying to poke holes in Tatum's game. But really, he just needed a little time to develop his skills and get stronger. Here's Smart. James Harden picking up that last basket. From the stripe. They get it again. Horford could. You better put a body on Horford. I mean, when you don't, he's more than content to torture you like this. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. I caught up with Coach Ime Adoka talked about the best strategy of containing Kevin Durant on the offensive end. Coach told me Kevin's going to get his. You can't stop that. But if you can push him off his favorite spots, it might make his production a bit more palatable to our defense. Well, they've done their homework on KD, but the exam is going to be harder. Guys? Thank you, David. Tatum gets the bucket. And without naming names, it feels like Tatum... You know, he's starting to dominate other all-stars at his position. And, and now this game is so complete. James regularly over 40% from three. He can drive it, post you up. 
The only success defenders have is when they guess right. They're smart. James Harden picking up that last basket. Brown. Williams trying to break free. And it's Brown that time on the assist from Smart. Smart. Sometimes Brown just looks unstoppable. A little contact can't hold him back. Harden has a wide open look. And it's James Brooklyn Harden. scoring again. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Now, here's Tatum. He's got eight. Back to Smart. Over in the corner, Brown. Five on the clock. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Here's KD. Rebounded by Smart. Celtics leading by six. To the inside. And Williams with the stuff. Oh, nice look there from Smart. Finding the open man. Nets have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. On the way, Harris. Griffin passes to Durant. Pope loose. Tatum at the elbow. Shoots over Griffin. Here's Williams. Makes it off the glass. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Boston. Ten-point lead. Passes it to Tatum. Here's Horford. Misses the three. Well, that's just a lucky break for the deep. Yeah, keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. Harris, good. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And the Celtics with possession here. After the basket by Brooklyn. Tatum with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Brown outside. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Brown's got seven points. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Durant rebounded by the Celtics. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Tatum. Some solid defense from Harris. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Here's KD. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Boston Celtics holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll return shortly. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And for the Celtics here, they've been putting on a show, guys. An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. Boston leading by 11. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Nets. Aldridge out there with James Johnson. Then there's Carter, and it's Mills, and it's Benbury, and at the small forward. And that one is good. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And Greg at 6'5 and 200 pounds, not the most imposing frame for Josh Richardson, but he is a quality defender. Well, a lot of it is between the ears. I mean, the plus wingspan helps, but it's that competitive will that enables him to hold his own. Austin with the ball, following the three-pointer by Brooklyn. Horford kicks it over to Schroeder. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Carter with it, and it's Richardson picking him up. 
and it's Carter missing. Boston's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Pritchard passes to Cantor, and Cantor throws it down. When you pair Cantor's strong frame with, with the scores mentality, you get a guy who loves the dunk. Now here's Mills. He's guarded by Schroeder. Basket good. Patrick, man, he's got no. such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Richards in the pass to Cannon. Second shot opportunity. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on the Marcus Holdridge. Strong and tear player. When Cantor is looking to score, he isn't afraid of attracting contact. This is his first trip to the line tonight. 77% shooter at the line a season ago. Those are better than average numbers. First one falls. Well, for a lot, Chris, the mid-range shot has fallen out of favor in the past decade or so. Do you think that trend will go the other way at some point? Well, let's talk about it, Kevin. Um, the mid-range shot didn't fall out of favor with champions. Golden State, did they? Don't they shoot mid-range? Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, Toronto, didn't they shoot mid-range? Uh, yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, let's see, who was before that? LeBron's team? Cleveland, Miami, did they shoot mid-range yet? So I just want to change that uh, statement and narrative. Everyone check it out. Winners, yeah, they have mid-range games. Those that don't have any mid-range games, they haven't won a championship. Celtics leading by 12. Richardson up top. Here's Schroeder. Unable to get that one. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Top Mills. He is covered by Cantor. Carter, the pass to Millsap. Kicks it out to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Goes up again. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Johnson's got his first points in this one. The pass to Pritchard. Now, here's Cantor. Richardson finds Schroeder. Here's Pritchard, defended by Carter. Pass to Horford. Mills with the rebound. Oh, wow. Sloppy finish. The D was giving him the layup. He just didn't stay with it. And stolen by Richardson. And pushing it up, here's Boston. And Horford wide open. He shoots. Drains the jumper to finish the break. Horford's got his second bucket of the night. Well, this is how much confidence Horford has in himself. It's what makes him such an efficient offensive player. And Mills kicks to Millsap. And again, Brooklyn oh, with the triple. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range. Time and there's no time hand out. in his face. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Cantor. Mason Tatum comes in for Al Horford. Brown, he's checked in for Richardson. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Pritchard. And a new group in for the Nets. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Johnson. Kevin Durant comes in for DeAndre Bembry. Joe Harris is checked in for Carter. And it's Harden in for Patty Mills. Loads it up for Millsap, and it's slammed in by Millsap. I always want to assist Ty James. James can really dish. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for Boston. Pass to Tatum. There's a minute 47 left in the first half. And the dunk by Tatum. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And really an incredible playmaker his entire career. Harden has taken that up a notch. And he now often looks for his teammates first. They are just killing him on the interior. Outs 
inside Tatum from deep three-point range. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Tatum's got 13. He's doing some good work from long range. I mean, he had two threes in the first quarter, and now he's got one in the second. Here's KD, and again, it's Brooklyn converting. And huge assist totals for Harden, which is also a reflection, Greg, of the talent around him. And he's played with some of the best finishers in the game throughout his career. What changed starting last year uh, was his mindset, making him all that much more difficult to defend. Oh, the movement Funny. off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Harden surveying the D. Here's KD. Kicks it out to Harden. Over Williams. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from James Harden. Harden is a versatile scorer, so we make the most of him. Tatum against Brown. Can he keep it going? And it's Boston with another. They couldn't ask for much more for him today. He's been a key force in their offense. High post, KD. Brown on him. The shot's good by Durant. And sometimes you just assume ahead of time Durant's mid-range Jay is going in. It's that deep. I'm deep. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully, we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 17 points and one steal. Definitely no fluke for him as he just turned in an outstanding game in their last outing. And now tonight, he's rolling again. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, nor did the players. Everyone working in unison and playing for one another. Love to watch this brand of basketball. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Brooklyn? The energy on D stood for disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. So it's Boston now. Eight-point game. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. Horford is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Williams at the center. That's the Boston Five. Tatum draws the double. Brown wide open. He fires. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Brown's got 10. Oh, you love to see Brown knock down the three ball, showing great strides and improving his range. KD with it. Now guarded by Smart. Goes up at the stripe. The shot by KD. No good. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot they're trying to work for at the offensive. 
Nets trail by 11. Floats one, and the layup is good. Durant. Ten points for him. <laughs> I like how Durant assessed the situation and decided to go with the floater. Not always the easiest decision to make. Brown outside. Kicks to Tatum. This ball movement by Boston. Here's Horford. Some solid defense from Harris. The net shooting indicative of smooth offensive play. Up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. KD on the wing. Guarded by Horford. They double team KD. Rocket six. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Improving every season he's been in the league. Harris is quietly one of the best perimeter shooters in the game. The Nets shoot their first free throws here tonight. Two shots. That's good from Harris. Austin making some changes. Ennis Canner's checked in for Williams. Richardson comes in for Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Membry's checked in for Durant. And Harris drops them both. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Hart. Round against Horford. Kicks it out to Richardson. Six to shoot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, that's just a solid score from all three levels. Very consistent on his approach. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Josh Richardson at the line for two shots. First free throw is good. I mean, the ability of Richardson to instantly elevate your team's play is incredible. He can score, he can facilitate, whatever you need to succeed. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Well, Marcus Aldridge, he's checked in for Brown. Carter comes in for Harris. And it's Mills in for James Harden. He's perfect from the line this time. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Passes to Mills. Carter against Brown. And there it is for him. Carter's got five points so far. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Richard passes to Horford. Brown outside. Rebounded by the Nets. Might take him a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. Just need to calm down, play their game. And it's not a bomb. Well, they say it was last touched by Carter. Celtics leading by seven. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Brown outside. There's the pass to Horford. Shoots over Mills. Off the left rim and out. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And an area that's often underappreciated for Horford. He's a fantastic passer. Nothing flashy. Great vision in the post or at the top of the key. And he just keeps it moving and finds the open man. Aldridge, no luck. 
Boston's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Richardson the pass to Pritchard. Back to Richardson. Shot clock at six. That shot, no good. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Mills with it. He's against Cantor. Mills can't hit. Celtics leading by seven. Here's Richardson. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. And it is good. Richardson's got his second basket of the night. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the next. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. It's hauled in by Brown. The Celtics have gone two of seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements. A minute 42 left to play here in the third. Nice D from Griffin. That's trailed by nine. Here's Carter. The second chance effort. And it's Griffin getting it to go. Griffin. And the timing Griffin has on the glass. He seems to know exactly when to leap up for rebounds. Brown outside. From 13. Rebound Brooklyn. Mills has got four rebounds in this game. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit dubious. And he banks in the lane. And now just a five-point Boston lead. Just another way Aldridge beats you. As a facilitator, very comfortable making decisions. Horford in the post. Griffin's there. And Griffin sends it back. The shot's good from Cantor. There's 42 seconds left in the third. Mills with it. Pass to Griffin. He dishes it to Carter. Over Richardson. And that one goes long. Boston leading by seven. Pass to Brock. Richardson outside. Over Aldridge. Can't nail the jump. And so it's Boston. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. We've got Durant. Johnson is out there with Bruce Brown. Then there's Harris. And it's Harden in at the point guard position. Johnson kicks to Durant. And taken away by Brown. Shoots off the step back. Here's Tatum. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Passes it to Harris. Back to Harden. And stolen by Tatum. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Celtics leading by seven. Shooter passes to Williams. This ball movement by Boston. The rebound by Johnson. 
Johnson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Harden against Schroeder. Here is Harden. Brown outside. Lock at six. Lays it up off the glass. Brown's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Brooklyn. Austin's gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Brown outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And for everything he provides on offense, Chris, Brown's defense is just as impactful. <laughs> Kevin Along Strong, tough, Celtic. quick twitch athleticism. Lee plays with Along tremendous pride. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. If you want to see how efficient the offense is running, a great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. First one falls for him. Now that he's attracting so much defensive attention, Greg, Brown is routinely getting others involved. And how about his assist numbers have skyrocketed. And it's really not surprising. His sole focus is doing what's best for the team. Paul Millsap has checked in for the Nets. And Brown drops them both. For a player who does special things off the floor, Jalen Brown is an amazing role model for young kids. Very active on speaking about the importance of education and learning new languages himself. Now here's Harden. Here is outside. Over Williams. Goes back up. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut to just five on the basket for Millsap. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Stolen by Harden. Round with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Down kicks to Harden. On the wing, Harris. Outside Durant, a three ball. Rebound, Boston. Brown outside. And then Brown with the top. Maybe off the dribble. There we go. Brown's putting in the work on this corner. Harden the pass to Katie. Shoots over Schroeder, and Harris wide open. He shoots the basket good off the assist from Durant. I mean, the defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Smart passes to Tatum. Schroeder looking around. Williams trying to break free. Suddenly drops in the floater. And with how fast Schroeder plays, the floater fits his game. I mean, he doesn't even have to stop to get the teardrop off. Here's KD. Rebounded by the Celtics. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Brown kicks to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Brown outside. Good on the triple. Brown's got ten points here in the second half. Well, how about the quickness of that release? Brown just draining that catch-and-shoot jumper. And the jam by Harden. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates uh, love that out. kind of energy, fellas. Celtics. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over.
present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. All right, David, thanks. Here's KD following the bucket by the Celtics. And then Durant with the top. What an athletic play by Durant rocketing off the floor. Finish. Here's Brown. And the rebound goes to Griffin. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Nets. They trail by seven. It's Harden with the drive. That's no good, but only his first miss in six shots. Celtics have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Williams kicks it over to Schroeder. Left side, Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. That's trail by nine. 105 left in the game. Durant down low. He's guarded by Williams. And then Durant with the dunk. He's been as dependable as he always is. He can't do it all by himself. Outside Tatum. Shoots over Griffin. Tatum gets the bucket. Time out, time out. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. Just a total team effort. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They're trailing by nine. There's 47 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Brooklyn making some changes. 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Drives to the hoop. Sharp. That's good. Well, check out that assist. assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's Pritchard. Brooklyn with the rebound. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. But yeah, the game got away from them, but hopefully they've learned some things, and hopefully they'll be able to make some adjustments next time. So it's the Celtics picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you gotta have a short-term memory. Uh, sometimes shots just go in, but you always gotta be aggressive and just make the right play. You're like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David. Thank you. Well, folks, that's gonna do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olt, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time.